What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review on Alia Sometimes Hides Her Feelings in Russian. And in this episode, we got two major things. We get the origin story of how Alia became, I guess, interested in our boy. And how Alia's sister is introduced. So... That is something that I actually like. We also get a backstory with Alia herself, so I think that itself was really nice. We start that episode, the episode with actually seeing her back in Russia, and I will say props to them for having to learn to speak Russian for, I guess, for this series and as a whole. Uh, Russian has never been a language that I personally have ever found any interest in, just because of how difficult it sounds, it, it's not a language that I think that me personally could I could ever learn. But it is cool, and I want to you know give props to them for being able to, you know, actually take the time to not only give us English subtitles, obviously Japanese subtitles, but actually hearing what that would sound like. And it was nice seeing Alia uh, at a very young age, seeing how she's actually very serious. She always seems to be that way. And she's always been committed to want to give her 110% in everything that she does, no matter how minimal it may be. And we see that in the classroom setting, she actually has a tough time because everyone kind of like doesn't seem to care. This actually causes friction. Uh, and in the end, she didn't end up winning the group because probably because she did all the work or the rest of them didn't help. Uh, we never got that explanation. We fast forward a couple years, she moves to Japan, and she's doing her best, and she realizes that the student next to her, Kuze, our obviously main protagonist, isn't giving it his all, if any, like he is just coasting by. But when it has mattered, he proved that if he just put in some effort, he can have a lot of stuff moving. In fact, when it came down to the summer festival, we see that he just kind of got the right motivation for everybody to help out and he kind of called around and was like look you want to be able to do all these things but you're approaching it the wrong way doing it alone isn't the right way of doing things and so he proved his point by getting everyone involved we see how everyone is actually kind of on board things go very well they have fun and they enjoy it and we see that by the end of like the festival you know the, the traditional campfire singing and like dancing around we see guys trying to approach Alia and he just kind of comes in takes her away she realizes that maybe something's there like how is this guy just kind of sweeping me off my feet at this moment and we see how things kind of grow from there but after the flashback we kind of see the introduction of Masha Alia's older sister who is also on the student council and we have her you know being that loving older sister and she even talks about how she has a crush on someone named Sachan and um, obviously we see who that is we know who that is it's uh, for those that may not have understood it's actually the same little boy that we had at the beginning which is Kuze we have him being the one to have played with her back in the day her hair was different and we have her still having feelings for him uh, but we have M Masha listening to this whole story and how, you know, she feels that Alia finally has someone that she can like and someone that she could like, you know, maybe do things together with as a couple. So it is nice that she obviously isn't aware of it yet until the next day where we have Kuze arriving into the student council room and Masha sees her and at first she thinks nothing of it, but realizes Oh, this is the boy and like it all clicks but we see that Masha doesn't shy away from it in fact when they do go out and shop we see that she wants to spend time with him and kind of help him like feel better we got a little bit of glimpse of his past we see that his parents separated we have that his younger sister uh, that we've already met she actually went with her mother and she was very sick at the time and he went with his father so there's that disconnect as well so we see that there's definitely things working around here and masha you know like i said isn't being shy about wanting to get to be close to him 
I wonder if this will become some kind of battle in the end. We know that at least Kuze seems to be interested in Alia. We'll see. But this looks fun, and I have enjoyed this episode. Like I said, a lot of fun stuff to unpack. But overall, good one. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, though, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.